Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. This is God's gift, and I wanted to bring you something else. Um, how I got to the point that uh, Trump is acting as Judas. Um, I did a study on Daniel, and I found out that the 62 weeks, uh, well, first I want to tell you this, the seven weeks started December 2nd, 2016 to January 20th, 2017. The 62 weeks are represented as um, this January 20th um, until March 30th of 2018. And I came to that conclusion because the Lord was leading me to read that. And this is what I was understanding it to be. Now, from um, Jan on, on December 6th, uh, Trump declares Jerusalem as Israel's capital. You have December as the 12th month, the sixth day. You got 666. Six, six. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. This is God's gift. Um, I wanted to bring you guys a bunch of things. I don't even know if I can get it all in this one. But um, I wanted to tap on uh, Daniel 70 weeks one more time. It's just going to be a quick overview and why I came to the conclusion that I did. Um, it says in Daniel 9, 24, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgressions, to make an end of sin and reconciliation for iniquity and bring in the everlasting righteousness and seal up the vision and prophecy and anoint the most holy. This, this one here, anoint the most holy is talking about Jesus Christ. It's talking about the most holy. Okay. See that where it says most holy. There's a difference between this and what I'm about to show you. Daniel 9.25 says no and therefore understand. It's, it's telling you to have wisdom and understanding to, to discern that from going forth of the commandment to restore and rebuild Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the prince. This is Trump. He's talking about Trump here. This is Hebrews 5057, which is a commander. He is our commander in chief. Messiah, in this case, is an anointed, usually consecrated person, a king, priest, or a saint. This is different. So this is him talking about Trump right here. And it shall be for seven weeks, three score and two weeks, and the streets shall be built again, the wall, and even troublesome times. Now, the seven weeks is from December 2nd, 2016 to January 20th, 2017. The 62 weeks are from January 20th, 2017 to March 30th, 2018. Okay, so March 30th, he is cut off. December 6th, 666, 12-6, So this is our, this is our Judas stepping in the scene here. He is about to betray, uh, the people of America. They believe he is, you know, going to make America great again. And the Lord showed me he, and before he was elected, the Lord showed me in a vision, he was standing with Hillary and Obama showing that he was of them. This is what Judas was. Judas was of the disciples, but his heart was not right with God. So he was with them, but he was not of them. That is what the scripture tells us. This is who we're dealing with. So I, I just wanted to clear that up. This is why I came to the conclusion that he is Judas. On October 19th, we saw this Google Doodle here. And this, my sisters and brothers, whoa, this, my sisters and brothers is showing us a lot. Okay, so he's, he's measuring. That's the father measuring our deeds. The son sits in a panic, goes down slowly, jumps twice. Is that two days, two hours? I don't know. Then we see something falling from the sky and the 144 are raised up and then it goes white. This, I believe, is an asteroid coming down. Um... Or it could mean lightning, you know, the little sun. But I, I would think they would use something like that. So I would say that's probably an asteroid, the, the millstone being thrown down. I didn't mean the millstone. I'm sorry. 
it's an asteroid comet. Something is falling from the sky to lift that up, and I believe it is, um, I don't know. I just have a feeling it's an asteroid. So speaking of the 144,000, I came up with something a while back. Okay, so back on November 26th of 2017, um, I was looking up stuff on the Super Bowl. It's the 52nd Super Bowl, okay? That's grace and two as in February. This is what I'm, I'm seeing here, okay? I know that uh, the, the Super Bowl is in February. It's on my birthday, the 4th. So um, this really caught my attention every time it comes around. You know, I'm always looking at it. I don't watch it, but this is what I found out. Uh, the 144 is connected to the Super Bowl somehow. You get 2 4 18 is the date. It equals 144. If you take 2 times 4 times 18, you get 144. Um, I'm just showing you what I see here. A lot of connections, sisters and brothers. Then we have today, <clears throat> excuse me, February 2nd, 2018, as Groundhog's Day. Um, or Groundhog Day, I'm sorry. Now, these are things that live in the ground and come up during this time of year. And I believe what the Lord is showing me that um, there's two ways of looking at this and I'm not sure how it is. I, I, I just all of a sudden saw missiles coming out of the ground when I realized today was Groundhog's Day. So I don't think that they're going to go off today. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I think they're going to be preparing for this. And there's a lot of things leading up to um, on the 4th. And that 144,000, um, the Libra thing in Google Doodle, um, this is, these are on the 4th. Now, we know that they, last year with the Super Bowl, they were planning on, you know, we, we thought things were going to happen then, but I believe that that was uh, a foreshadow of what's coming. These are just some of the meanings of the numbers that we find here at the Super Bowl time and the connection with them. Okay, so the big, big event, sisters and brothers, this is February 2nd today, okay? Now, we have a double conjunction coming up here on the 16th. Um, it's in Aquarius down here, and this is right here. There's a 15th and 16th, okay. Now, what I want to show you guys here, if I can get this to steady, we have Virgo, or I'm sorry, Venus, and the moon, and then we have the sun and Mercury, okay? Uh, let me see if I can get that in there. Okay, there you go. These are very important. This is the outpouring. This is where he tells the disciples to go to the man with the picture, the outpouring, this is a double outpouring, I believe, is going to be happening. Now, when this happens, this is February 16th. I know that there's something with this. The Lord has shown me this and wanted me to, to really look at it. So this is a very important thing. In my video here, I, I was showing you guys the uh, Watchman hours that I was led to a while back. Notice the, the um, thing in, on the inside here where it says, uh, 3 a.m., 3 a.m., 3rd and 4th watch. I believe that, sisters and brothers, and I could be wrong, but I feel like I'm being led on the 3rd and the 4th of this month. So let's keep an eye out because there's a lot of connection to the 3rd and the 4th. My sister, who I talk to all the time, was showing me that my videos are leading like a stepladder up, and she said to look at them. And, she, uh, and I'm just reading them. I will stir myself in the winter. Alarms, warnings, alarms, warnings, all ringing. The fig tree, alert, warning was given at 9-11. The snake, I'll be home for Christmas. That's when the snake started creeping up. Sisters and brothers, it's like there is a stepping up in the videos here. Um, I believe that the Lord is showing us we are definitely, definitely at this time. And there's so many watchmen, you know, telling, you know, letting everybody know that we are at this point. 
in that Watchman uh, Hours video, I was told that um, the Holy Spirit sp spoke through me and said, 3.30 a.m. Sunday, the baby comes. Um, Sunday is the 4th. There's something going on this weekend, and we know with the Super Bowl, we got the groundhog uh, coming out of the ground. You know, these these are rodents in the ground that eat the greenery. And, you know, we, we planted our seeds. Are they coming after those who we have as young Christians or those who are growing in the Lord don't know he's here yet? They don't realize the things that we realize. I believe everything that I have been given has been way ahead of time, sisters and brothers. I believe we're at this point right now, at the merge and converge, where the Holy Spirit fire is going to come on us. We're in the last quarter of the month where I was shown, you know, the last quarter. We are the last quarter of the year. I'm sorry, the last quarter of the year. Things that are are being shown to me, um, like on 821, we had, to, we had the uh, solar eclipse, um, 21. Two plus one is three. Then we, I had a vision of a clock back on 929. And the only two numbers I saw on the clock was one and two, which equals three. I'm having a lot of connections between the uh, three and the four. Um, I woke up on December 28th and I heard fourth day. Um, Revelation 12, three. One and two is three. So you got verse... Three of Revelation 12, which is the dragon, sisters and brothers. Um, there's a lot of connections. I told you guys that um, I heard that the 23rd would be something to behold. I heard the Lord tell me that. Um, two and three, February 3rd. February 4th, we got this Super Bowl. Is this the nuclear kickoff time? I don't believe it's when the nuclear bomb will go off. It could, but um, I don't know. I, I'm just seeing a lot of connections. Um, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just a lot. Um, I saw three things in the sky. I did a video of, and the three things I saw was an eagle, a sheep, and a number three. Um, you know, with, with, Saturday going into Sunday, the third and the fourth, um, you know, with the baby coming. Uh, I mean, just so much. Sunday at 3 a.m., the baby will come is what the Holy Spirit spoke. Um, I pray that you guys are blessed. I have so much. I know I'm rushing through it, but I'm already at 12 minutes. And this will take all day to load. It will probably be tonight by the time you get this. I pray that you're blessed. Remember, Jesus died uh, or uh, he was put on a cross at 9 a.m., which is, um, you know, Passover. It's the time where we celebrate this. Um, the Passover represents the engagement, the Shavuot, Shavuot, it's, it's represents the marriage. This is February, sisters and brothers. There was three storms in the Bible with Jonah and the book of Acts with the disciples in the boat. And then we have Noah's Ark. Three is a very important number. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So, sisters and brothers, this is definitely, definitely a time to keep your eyes open and know that um, we're going to be leaving soon. This earth is going to be dark. I pray, Lord Jesus, blesses you all. All glory to him and all the things that he's showing us. And keep your eyes open. We have a lot of things coming. We don't know when we're going, but I pray that it's soon as all, all of you do. But know that the Lord is speaking very clearly. If you get a chance, read um, Haggai chapter 2. It is about us going home. I love you all. Be blessed. This is God's gifts.